Hey, what's up guys, Camp and Rusher here. Another account directly related to Fortnite has been hacked. And you may have seen it, you may have heard about it. We'll talk about that to start the video. And we're also talking about season four. Is Stark Industries making a return? We're talking Juice World, we're talking chapter six. It's a big one, stick with me. So, Metallica. Not officially a Fortnite account, but we do have to talk about it because, I mean, it, it's a bad situation, but it's also just uh, it, it kind of funny in a sad way. Here's what happened. A Metallica Twitter account was hacked, and you can see the tweet here. The hackers logged on, took over, and they were promoting like a, a pump and dump Bitcoin, uh, basically just to make some money off of the followers. It doesn't really matter. It's a hack. Obviously, do not buy this token. And But you can see the hackers actually used the Fortnite Times Metallica like background image as the like promotion for this hack. I don't know if the account's been recovered i've seen a lot of the posts been deleted so just be very uh, weary right now of anything that's being posted on metallica sites there's still not been further info released about how it was hacked what actually happened as always with hacks like this just a reminder two-step verification is a really good thing on any of your accounts just to keep yourself protected it's always good to think about it also talking about metallica while we are on the topic metallica posted a playlist on spotify titled metallica times fortnite and the description says metallica Metallica songs featured in Fortnite. Four of the songs in this playlist are not currently in the game, including Battery. These could possibly be upcoming jam tracks. I agree. I think this is good evidence it's happening. Save your V-Bucks. Reminder, you can use jam tracks now as lobby tracks. So even if you don't play Festival, it still can be worth it if you got one of your favorite songs here uh, coming soon. Okay, let's talk about these three new beacons that were added with our recent update. I was waiting to talk about this because it's kind of sad news. And the reason it's sad news is we had one of these beacons added a while ago, a few weeks ago. And these are the same beacons that were located at Stark Industries and related to Tony Stark, Iron Man. So we thought that this meant for our Marvel Season 4 confirmed starting around August 16th, we were going to be getting Stark Industries V2. And it is one of my favorite POIs of all time. Time, so I was excited, but we now know that these are for the Magneto quests, okay? And it doesn't mean it's impossible that we're getting Stark Industries, uh, you know, next season, but I do think this lowers the chance as they're related to Magneto and possibly not related to what we thought Stark Industries. We're going to talk more about season four, but first a quick word from our sponsor. All right, let's talk about this super unique AI based app called Talkie. Talkie is an AI mobile app and it allows you to talk with over 100,000 virtual characters. This includes your favorite characters from video games, movies, anime, and honestly, whatever else you can think of. And of course, you can even talk to Fortnite characters. So that's what I I did so you're watching me interact with the app right now I looked up the fortnite category found hope it made sense she's the main storyline focus currently in fortnite right now and you'll see i ask her some questions you can do it with text you can do it with voice and she will respond to you you can train your characters to respond in your favorite way the wanderer has arrived on the fortnite island and then i'm a huge star wars nerd and i'm sure a lot of you guys are as well so i went for the star wars category and i found myself darth vader and here's a little conversation i had with him George Join me and together we will rule the galaxy. Don't even think about betraying me. You can also create your own virtual character by choosing tags, creating stories, uploading images. It's completely free to use. So what are you waiting for? Download the sponsor of today's video, the Talkie app for free using the link in the description down below. And speaking of Magneto, we have talked about this, but if you've missed it, it's kind of a big deal. There's this skin added, right? Wolverine Weapon X. And looks like there's going to be a new weapon added, new mythic added. We think this is for this season because it's related to this bunker. Wolverine's been trapped in here. Magneto, based on this loading screen, is going to break him out. And when that happens, we will get a brand new POI. It's a really good POI. It's like the weapon facility, I guess. It got cool ambience to it. A chair, a headquarters. I like it. So this will be available. I assume this is build up to the new season. It would make Makes sense right use marvel characters to throw us into the full-on marvel season four which i'm so excited for by the way so yeah i expect this to come out either the next update when epic arrives back from break which is july 19th 
That'll be the Pirates of the Caribbean update as well, of course, or the update after that a couple weeks later. That'll be our final update before the new season. And I mean, let's be honest, Epic's been killing it with the lead up, build up mini events. Now we did talk about for season four that a Fortnite times Deadpool and Wolverine collab is likely. Part of this was based on Epic currently reworking the old Wolverine clause as a mythic. So I don't know if these will be uh, part of this Weapon X build up thing. We may get it before season four or they'll release it in season four. But also a reminder that the movie and big movie, people are looking forward to it. It releases around the same time as season four. So I do still think this is likely even if the, these claws were related to the Weapon X claws we see in the photo there. So I just wanted to point that out. And then other Season 4 info we know about, potentially Sue Storm Mythic for Season 4. They are working on a new gameplay feature called Illusory Walls. And the big letters, right, the IW, usually have a deeper meaning when they are talking code words, right? This is a code word for whatever they're working on here. So the initials could mean Invisible Woman, Sue Storm. And, I mean, this is a little bit of a reach, but... Still, I think it's a pretty good theory based on what we've got. Next here, Fortnite times Juice World. Juice World's manager, Pete, posted this in a group chat with fans. One of the biggest things you have been asking for is happening this year. Six to seven weeks. Something cool is happening. Tag me in any dances you would use as an emote for Juice. And this is referencing Fortnite. So, I mean, we got to be careful here. Pete has been known to fabricate, hype up things that never actually ended up happening related to Fortnite and Juice. I'm still going to talk about it because if there's a possibility of it happening, this would be the guy to know. So take it with a grain of salt, but maybe sometime in the future, we actually get to see a Juice collab. A cool little clip here on Reddit. So the Wanderer, the evil being that is being seen around the map, you can see him, you can scope in but you have to be a certain distance away from him if you get too close he will disappear this is like the main villain going into our new season new chapter possibly related to Jeno or is Jeno. but there's actually a way to kill him you can use fire damage he's only got 100 health so you could take him out maybe get the upper hand before we know inevitably that he is going to do some damage to us uh, kind of a fun little easter egg hidden in the game right now a rumor Real life Lego Fortnite in October. Battle bus and Peely Bone sets, 100 bones. It's a little steep. Loot Llama set will be 40 bucks. And Burger Battleground set will be $15. Two Lego leakers posted this info in February and today, and their leaks align with each other. So, pretty good chance this is happening. A little early to be talking about it, but. If you're a Lego fan, real life Lego fan, uh, October is the date. And chapter six, we have not talked about this in a while, so I'm just mentioning it if you missed it. There is a new swinging movement mechanic coming for chapter six. There's a, a prototype map for it in front of you from Peku here. Basically, it's, it looks like you're going to be able to swing from pull to pull. I assume climb things this way as well. Should work with zero build and build mode. And yeah, just something to know about chapter six. We don't know much about chapter six so it's worth chatting about still a ways away we got chapter two og we got marvel season four and the end of this season before we even get there should be around december right thanks for watching you guys touch that like button subscribe take care talk soon goodbye